What is up? I'm here to talk about bloating. Bloating is something I deal with and I hate it. It makes me feel super uncomfortable. What I'm gonna say is it's between puffiness and bloating. There's holding water and then there's bloating. You can actually be not holding any water and be very, very bloated. Uh, you can have six pack abs, but they can be sticking out like a balloon. So it can happen. Um, it's not a fat thing as much. So if you're waking up in the morning and you're feeling puffy, it's usually an early sign of dehydration and you need to get a liter of water ASAP. Don't go sit in the sauna and try to drain that water. You're actually just gonna further the dehydration. Unfortunately, you need to deal with it. Drink the water and then after that, you might feel a little more puffy and then uh, it will eventually come down. But you need to be hydrated. So I would get in the practice of getting up in the morning, a liter of water right away. So a good rule of thumb, of how much water to drink is half your body weight in ounces. You weigh 200 pounds, drink 100 ounces per day. Coffee does not count. Coffee almost has like a subtraction effect to that. Bloating is where the stomach is just sticking out and you just feel like there's a balloon or a rock in your stomach. You just can't suck in, it sucks. So yes, again, water. You gotta have water to digest things. A lot of the time, the bloat can either be in that you overate or it can mean that you're not digesting something correctly. Water is key to digestion. The thing is to take in enough fiber and not too much. So for a man my size, I'd eat about 30 to 40 grams a day. It's a good sweet spot. For women, you know, maybe between 100 and 150 pounds, you do about 20 to 30. And so you could get that from vegetables or oatmeal or wherever you want to get it from. Things like, like a carb balanced tortilla has 13 grams of fiber. And there's been times where I've been extremely bloated from eating those, even though they're high in fiber, and I'm like, what's going on? Too much fiber will bloat you. So I was up to like 90 grams of fiber, and that will have an opposite effect. It will just make your stomach turn into a rock. Water and fiber, and now, if you're feeling really bloated and you really want to get rid of it, go on a walk, move. Do not lay down. That could turn into acid reflux, and then you're just having a whole nother uh, list of problems. So. Uh, my go-to is to put lemons in my water or to just uh, squeeze, cut up a lemon, squeeze the whole damn lemon and then uh, take the shot of the lemon juice. But what I, uh, what I really prefer to do is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, if you don't know anything about it, go research it. It's very healthy, very good for your digestion. So two ounces or two shots of apple cider vinegar and then a whole lemon squeeze into that, shoot it. Make sure that when you drink apple cider vinegar, you wash it down with water so do about 16 ounces of water right behind that and you'll notice you'll start burping and farting and all of a sudden you feel better better sooner artificial sweeteners is the number one thing to avoid if you deal with bloating problems so aspartame sucralose uh, xylitol stevia now stevia is natural but don't get confused natural doesn't mean better stevia is one of the worst ones for you the best out of those is uh sucralose so I'm not against artificial sweetener. I just think you need to limit it. If you're just drinking diet soda all damn day, you're gonna notice it if you're prone to that kind of thing. It destroys your gut flora, makes it hard for you to digest food. You're not digesting things correctly. Digestion is a key element to your health. So I always tell my people to uh, be aware. So if, you, if you're feeling really, really bloated, trace back your steps and what was it that you ate? A lot of people are really sensitive to wheat, eggs, and dairy. It's usually one of those three, but then a derivative of one of those three, something. Be aware of the foods that work for your body. Like, I notice that when I eat rice, I just feel great. I can eat lots of rice and not feel bloated. So something I always suggest people do is super interesting, and it really was a game changer for me, was getting a food allergy test. I went to my naturopath, she took my blood, and then she paired it against 100 different food types. And I was able to see on a systemic level and digestion, how I reacted to all these foods. There's about five foods on there that I was very intolerant against. Uh, and eggs was the number one. Eggs was off the charts. And I was eating like a dozen egg whites a day. And I didn't know why I was just, I was dealing with the runs. Uh, I had major, major distension. I feel like my stomach was gonna tear open. I hated it. Uh, took the eggs out, all went away. Something to remember is that if your body has high levels of stress, that means that your stress hormone, cortisol, is raising. If your cortisol is up, that's anti-fat burn right there. Stress uh, prohibits 
fat burn. So it would make sense that if you were just feeling bloated and you're having issues with digestion, that you wouldn't burn as much fat, right? So when things are running smoothly, your body operates on a low level of stress, your body does a good job burning fat. Go figure. So check out the food allergy test. That was super interesting. Uh, I think that's about everything you need to know about bloating. Go ahead and just ask a question. Slap the like button. Talk to you soon.